Perspective Drawing 4. We're given the plan, elevation, end view and isometric view of this solid. And we're asked to draw the perspective view. We're given the picture plane, the horizon line and the ground line, the spectator, vanishing point 1 and vanishing point 2. The picture plane goes through this front corner. So this line is the height line. The height of that corner is from the ground to that first line there. Mark that off. And step it up on the height line. Vanish those two points back to vanishing point one. That line goes back to the corner. Bring that corner down. And that gets the back corner there. And that's the front surface. To get the bottom of it, vanish back to vanishing point two. And that gets the bottom of it. The top of it is at an angle. This is the surface here. It's at 30 degrees. There it is at 30 degrees. So we're looking from the spectator position up at an angle of 30 degrees, which will be parallel with that surface. This is a model of the exercise. This is the solid at the back here. The picture plane and the perspective drawing on the picture plane. This is the drawing of the project. We're looking at this line here and that back line. They're vanishing up along those two green lines up to a vanishing point up there, vanishing point 3. To get vanishing point 3, we have to draw this triangle here, create a 30 degree angle and take that height there. So looking down on it, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to draw that triangle in that position there. We're going to set up the triangle on this line here. Take that height and from vanishing point 2, mark it up on that line. And that gets us vanishing point 3. Vanish from that point to these two points here. Where that line intersects this line, that gets a, a back corner there. And vanish that back to vanishing point 1. That block there is this block here complete. Now we have to get this red surface here. It's at 30 degrees in this direction. This is the model again. We're looking at this red line here. And that back red line. Vanishing up along those green lines up to vanishing point 4. Now we have created a 30 degree triangle here. So when you line up the line, it gets you vanishing point four. And the second line va lined up gets you vanishing point four as well. How to get vanishing point four? We're going to create a 30 degree triangle similar to what we did on the other side. So we're going to fold down the triangle like that. Set up the 30 degree triangle here. And that distance there is the height. Set the compass to that distance and from vanishing point 1, mark it up and that gets us vanishing point 4. Vanish that back to the two points here. That red surface goes up as far as here. Bring that down and that gets us the back line there. That point will vanish back to vanishing point 2 and that gets that line there. That's that piece complete. Now to get the next piece here, it's at 30 degrees going down. The height of that piece 
is from this point to this point, S step that off on the piece of paper, and on the height line again, same height line again, mark up the height from the ground, and vanish that point back to vanishing point two. And that gets the top line there, which is this line here. This surface is this surface, and it's now sloping downwards at 30 degrees. It's falling down. So that it's going to be coming down at an angle. To get that angle, we have to find another vanishing point, vanishing point 5. We're looking at this line in at the back here. There's the piece we've completed. And we're looking at this line along here, and that green line is heading on down to a vanishing point down here, vanishing point 5. To get vanishing point 5, we look at this triangle here, the 30 degree angle, measure down instead of up this time. And that gets vanishing point 5. We set up the same triangle as before, the last time... We marked it up like this. Now we mark it down in this test. So take the same height from vanishing point 1. We marked it up. This time we mark it down. And that gets us vanishing point 5. Vanish that back to this point here. And that gets that top line there. Now to get this back piece, it's at 30 degrees, the plan of it is here, the height of this corner, we have to bring it across to the picture plane and down to measure the height, step off the height here, and on our new height line, from the ground, step that distance up. Vanish those two points back to vanishing point one. Bring this point down, that gets us the front line there, and bring this point down, and that gets the back line there. That edge there is this front edge here. Now to get the top surface, it's at 30 degrees, which is the same angle as this front piece here. This line went up to vanishing point three this line went to vanishing point three and this will go to vanishing point three this is the model again this is the line we're looking at in here that's the edge we've done it's vanishing up along that green line up to vanishing point three that's it lined up with the top of the triangle to get vanishing point three That's the two points joined to vanishing point three. Now that surface goes back as far as there. Bring down that point and that gets the back corner there. Join that point to vanishing point one. And that's the perspective view of the solid. And that's perspective drawing four complete.